Welcome back to another episode of What the Fuck's for Dinner. Tonight we're gonna do barbecue. We're gonna do barbecue ribs, barbecue chicken. Gotta put these ribs in the oven right now, so we're going to show you what we got going. These are gonna be fall off the bone ribs. This is how you make a rib. First you, you do your rub. You have about a little over a third of a cup of brown sugar. You do a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of ch chili powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of the garlic. You mix it all up in there, the brown sugar, and then you put it on your ribs. And when you're doing your ribs, if you want a nice good rib, you have to bake it for three hours. So we're gonna bake this sucker for three hours. So we're starting a little early today. I haven't even had a cocktail yet, but so what we're gonna get the, the rub all over these and we'll throw them in the oven. Very important to cut. You wanna cut a inch slice in between each rib bone. So you can see I cut an inch, cut an inch, cut an inch, cut an inch. That's very important because when it's cooking, it's going to suck it right in. It's going to be fall off the bone rib. So then now you got that. All you got to do now is you preset your oven to 400 degrees which it is all set at 400. And you're just gonna put these in there with nothing on them for about an hour. We're gonna take them out in an hour. And we're gonna put the tin foil on them. And we'll come back to show you how that's done. We'll be right back. We're back. Took the ribs out, it's been one hour. You see how they're cooking. We're gonna add some water. So you cooked it for one hour. And then you get your tin foil. Get a good tight edge all the way around. And we're just gonna put it back in the oven for a couple more hours. You wanted it, you got it. The YouTube what the fuck for dinner gear hashtag WTFFD gear is in. We got the beanies with the embroidered tops. We got the shirts. What the fuck for dinner shirts. We got the hats. Nice hats. You're gonna love these hats. They're gonna fly off. So you can order them now. You just go to my go to my PayPal link. Send me a message what you want. I'll get it out to you. Usually about seven dollars shipping and handling if you're far away. If you can pick it up, we'll figure that out too. So don't wait. Don't procrastinate now. If you order twenty-five dollars or more right now, I'm going to send you the recipe for the toothpick tacos. I'm going to put it on a piece of paper. I'll put it in the package for you, and I'll send it to you. And I'll autograph it. B E T O. The Beto on the bottom of it. It'll be an original. You can frame that bitch. Put it up on the fucking wall. If you order $50 or more, I'll throw in the rice, the Beto secret recipe to my rice, which people kill for that rice. You will have the secret. You will have it on your refrigerator. You'll have it forever, and I will autograph everything for you. Do not procrastinate. Please make sure you order now, because if you wait too long, you're going to end up like my boy Jorge over here. He waited too long, and look at him, motherfucker. So now he's got to go like that to the afterlife. 
Order now. The stuff's hot. It's going to fly off the shelf. If you need to order, go to my PayPal. Let me know what you want. I'll give you a price on shipping if you need shipping. If you need to pick up, you can pick up. Thank you. Welcome back. We're going to make a little salad here. We've got an avocado salad going here. Seen it? So let's try this. So we got some avocado. I already cut it up a little bit here. And you're just cutting them in squares, and now we're just scooping them out. Ah, there you go. You see the squares? They're cut. So once you scoop, Avocado were on sale, and I thought, perfect. When you get them at a good price, that's when you do it. So, and like five for five, I was like, hell yeah, five for five, let's do it. <clears throat> so, we got some lime here, we're gonna squirt this on. We're just on that avocado, get it going nice and good. So, Add in there, and we're gonna add some tomatoes. Slice them up. We got a little cilantro, a little bit of jalapenos. Let's throw that in there. Got some corn. We're gonna throw that in there. We got some onions. Throw that in there. Got some olive oil. Your olive oil in there. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of cumin, just a little bit. And we're just going to stir that up a little bit. And you see we got a nice healthy salad because the wife said we got to do some healthy dishes. Which, I guess I gotta agree, we've been going a little bit out of control lately with the unhealthy stuff. But this is really good, look at that. So simple, so easy. Looks delicious. So, easy don't like when people tell me what to do and, you know, like the, like the people that always say, do what you like and you'll never have to work a day in your life. Now what the fuck does that mean? Do what you like and you'll never have to work a fucking day in your life. So I like drinking double deuces and smoking blunts. Now how the fuck is that going to pay my goddamn house payment? So how the fuck can you do what you like and you're never going to have to work a day in your life? Or the other one. The other motherfucker was. A penny saved is a penny earned. A penny saved is a penny earned. Fuck you. A penny saved is a fucking penny. You save three up. 165 of them motherfuckers, you can't even buy a fucking latte and fucking Tim Hortons. Fucking pennies saved her. You know, we needed to say fuck you a lot more when we went to school. There's all the stupid fucking shit they used to tell us. So. We'll be back. Got the ribs coming. Alright, we're back. We brought the ribs out. So, we cut these, you can actually see the bones, they're ready to pull right out. One hour at 400, then you put tin foil on it, put them back in for two hours. You put your rub on first, make sure you rub it in good. And well, now we're just going to paint them with my secret betel sauce. And you got to subscribe to get the secret sauce recipe here. Let me get that so you can get the picture of it. These are coming out beautifully. The bone's going to fall right out of it. So, 
I do want to continue my rant because that's what the fuck I do. I rant when I cook. That's what the fuck I do. So, motherfuckers say follow your passion. Follow your motherfucking passion. Just follow your passion. Fuck your passion. Your passion ain't gonna pay the goddamn bills. You pay your motherfucking bills. You get rich as a motherfucker. And you can follow whatever the fuck you want. You pay your shit. That's how it fucking works, man. Ain't no motherfucking follow your passion. I'm gonna follow my passion. You fucking goddamn better be able to take care of yourself before you start following any motherfucking thing. Fucking motherfuckers crack me up with their fucking stupid sayings. I don't remember a lot about high school, but I remember all the stupid shit they told me. Remember hanging out with my boys, going in the front door, walking out the back, hanging down at the flats. And then, you know, we all got older and we all went our special ways and shit. But, you know, that's what happened. We all made our own fucking way. We're all part of a group now. We're part of the fucking hashtag WTFFD fucking crew. That's why we're all here. We're all together now. And we're going to fucking hang. You're going to save some money while you fucking cook. You're going to put it in a motherfucking jar. And maybe next year this time we all go on a fucking cruise. And we tear that motherfucker board up Detroit style. That's what I'm talking about. We'll be right back. I'm going to put these in for five, six minutes. Then I got to put that in. I did a cheesy potato little thing here. I did go over budget a little bit. I think we hit like $30. Went a little crazy. Spent that extra $10. But we'll be right back and wrap it up. All right, welcome back to What the Fuck's for Dinner. As you can see, we got a cheesy potato with some onions on top. I did some late quarters here. It's a real cheap meat. You throw it in there, season it up. You bake it for an hour at 350, bam. Barbecue in the middle of winter in your fucking oven. No problem. You got your avocado salad here. You got your ribs, which you can see here. The ribs. Well, I want you to look at that. Look at that. That's a motherfucking rib. If you can't make that fucking rib, and the motherfucker got to chew all over that bone, that's a fucking rib. That's how you make motherfucking ribs. So, this is what we got going here. So, back in the day when, you know, it, it went from when we were kids, we used to get double dog dairy. That was the big fucking deal. And we got in there like our teenagers, and then we went into the goddamn fucking. Does everybody remember? Fucking A. Be like, fucking A. I remember we said fucking A till I was fucking 20 something. And then if we really wanted to emphasize the fucking A, we would say, fucking A better believe it. You better fucking A believe that shit. You guys all remember that shit, you know? I want your comments. I want you to comment on the fucking A and your double dog there. Comment on the bottom of my YouTube page and let me know what you think. Let's get a fucking discussion about this, because I know you motherfuckers remember that shit. And one more thing before I get stupid is, the smiling motherfucker at work, when you walk in at five in the fucking morning, and the motherfucker's all smiling at you. Why did I? How you doing? Every, you know, all smiling motherfucker. I get up at four in the fucking morning to get to work at five o'clock in the morning. Last motherfucking thing I want to do is start fucking smiling, motherfucker. Then leave me the fuck alone, let me get my motherfucking coffee, and stay the fuck out of my face. I might talk to you at 9 o'clock, I might fucking not. It depends, I'm kind of a dick. So this is how it works. So with that said, leave me the fuck alone at 4 o'clock in the morning. Love you guys. Hey, subscribe, it's fucking free. It don't cost you a dime. You get all the recipes, all the secrets. Look at that. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, this, is, this will feed... Fuck. 10, 12 people easy. And all the secrets are on the YouTube channel. All the recipes there. You just join, you scribe, and don't cut your motherfucking dime. Salute. Peace out.